creep game. The kids don't have problems because they play games. They play games because they have problems. Jesus said so in the Bible. Static Game Review. I'm Braden Cole, your info source on retro gaming. And what a lovely night it is for a spot of gaming. And what better way to kick off the first episode of Static Game Review than to play all three Super Mario Brothers with the NES. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to play all three, starting with Mario Brothers 1. Let's get ready to review. It's Super Mario Brothers for the NES. Like one of the best games ever made. Sakura Miyamoto. Shakira Sh Miyamoto. The pimp that the pimp tastic daddy that that guy is came up with this game. And god what a game it is. Although I don't know what Japanese plumbing or sorry, plumbing not Japanese plumbing, plumbing, and Italian people, and mushrooms, and stomping on turtles, has to do with Japanese culture, but he was definitely the black sheep in the family, and you all know, we love black sheep here, in Static Game Review. Oh my god. I just died, but that's okay, people, because I got two more lives. Basically, what's going on in this game is you can stomp on turtles and collect awesome items. But let me tell you something. Peta is totally peeved that Mario uses the Tanuki suit. But that's okay, because Peta sucks. The gameplay of this game, if you haven't played it, because, I mean, if you haven't played it, you're a total artard, but it's cool. The gameplay consists of platforming, hence the term platformer, and jumping, and stomping on turtles. Suck on that, PETA, but it's okay. I just beat the level. So PETA, if you're watching this right now, it's cool. I won. It's okay. They died for a purpose. We get it, Mario fanboys. It was revolutionary. Whatever. How do you top off one of the best games ever? How do you top off one of the most sought-after, revolutionary video games ever? Well, unfortunately, you don't. Alright, people. Now what? Now what do we got? Yeah, it's Mario Brothers 2. In just a few seconds ago, I was joking. I actually really like this game. It's like one of the best games ever made. I'm telling you right now. It's like one of the best games ever made. And the reason, honestly, okay, no joke, gosh dang it, no jokes aside, okay, the reason I like this game is because it introduced a ton of new characters, a lot of characters which were vitally important to my favorite Mario game ever, Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars, but we'll get to that another day. Right now, if I can play this game, right now, as you can see, which I should have showed you in the beginning, the story revolves around Mario having a dream. But in reality, it's not a dream at all. It's actually a completely different game made in Japan called Doki Doki Panic. Look familiar? Sure does. It's Mario Brothers 2. Except with like a genie sprite or a wizard or something. Look, there's a Sniffet. There's a Shy Guy. It's the whole nine yards. It's the same level. It's the same trees. It's the same everything. And if you don't believe it, then you're crazy. Same doors. They simply took a Mario sprite, put it in this game, and th there you go. It's Birdo. This is a is this a Mario game? No, it's not. It's Doki Doki Panic released in Japan. And if this isn't crap enough for you, 
I mean, it's not even crap to me, really. It's kind of thrilling in the same sense, because it's very interesting, and it gives our video game... Our video game's a history, and just something else to look into, but it's a bunch of crap. Kind of. Well, anyway, now that you've seen that abomination of a game, which that's really what it was, it was just an abomination, and so is this game, quite frankly. But you know what? It's a good game in my opinion, and my opinion's all that matters in the world of Brayden. So, let's go on with the... Let's get on to the other game. Well, now that you've seen this, I mean, the abomination piece of crap sandwich ice cream infested awesome sauce covered great bad awesome crappy game, good game, now we got Mario Brothers 3 to play, which competed with the Sega Genesis. This is why NES survived the Genesis, the whole Genesis onslaught. Well, this and all of its other games, because the Genesis games kind of sucked. All right, so if you've come looking for a crappy game, then you've looked in the wrong place. It's Mario Brothers 3, like one of the best games ever made, ever, and no joke. This is the reason the NES was dominating the Sega Genesis. I mean, this is one of the big reasons anyway, and this is... This was just the game to have. This was this is one of my favorite Mario games in terms of the platforming Mario games. It's definitely, definitely one of my favorites. Um, it's, I actually think it's my favorite of all the Mario Brothers series and out of Mario World and out of the new Super Mario Brothers games and out of everything. This is my favorite platforming Mario game. And as you can see, it's the same concept as Mario Brothers 1, except way more advanced graphics. Well, not even really, just, you know. It's a big step from Mario Brothers 2, which I have a love-hate relationship with. You all know that. And as you can see, I'm just as bad at this one as I am at, you know, all the other ones. I used to be good when I was a kid. I don't know what happened. I'm, I'm stuck on Fallout. 3 in New Vegas, and these new games have corrupted me from being able to, like, kick ass like I used to at these old games. I go back on some of these old games, and I'm like, jeez, how did I play these games? I can't even get past the first freaking level. They introduced this whole map aspect, which was a big, big thing in Mario World, where, and that's actually, I think that's pretty cool, and this game is freaking huge. If you've ever played this game, it's a giant, massive, huge game, and it's just so cool. Alright, people. That's it. That's the three games. Reviewed. Done with. This is Brayden Cole with Static Game Review. Asking you to rate, subscribe, and comment. And like or dislike. Signing off.